Yeah, uh, my name is Emmanuel Tumhimse. I, I am an OCO at SIS Hospital. And uh, I'm glad that this week we have been having the Lions team coming to our hospital to do operations. And the uh, patients came in large numbers, those with cataracts and with other conditions. And the cataracts we worked on, uh, they were 17 in number. Uh, plus one who had uh, a teridium where we did the excision and the outcomes were very good. We had uh, many patients uh, went away with a lot of testimony. They were glorifying God and jubilating because they had spent some good time without seeing. They were looking at only darkness. But now they are happy and they are, they are thanking the Lions Club for the services that are extended to, to the, the rural areas where they get the services without 
uh, even struggling and for giving a free service. Though they have been paying a little money for the admissions, but they thank the Lions Club for the services they have delivered to them uh, for the last uh, four years now to this area. And uh, we, we have had uh, a few challenges for those who had complications, uh, like for example, the, the outcome would not be good, but they were explained to uh, even before the operations. But those who were straightforward, actually they went away jubilating because they received the site. So we want to thank uh, the comprehensive eye care of the lions for this service and we, we pray and wish them God's blessings and we, we ask if you can, you can continue even delivering this service because people need it uh, at, at a great um, a great thing because uh, if we don't work on these people, they struggle a lot and they are hard to care for. Even when they are in their families, the family members struggle to care for them. So I uh, want to thank the Lions entirely, the Lions International, the Lions Comprehensive on the side of Kigezi. We cannot thank you enough. And we want to thank uh, Dr. Priors who was here to do the operations. Uh, they went on very well. So we want to thank you and thank you uh, a lot. May God bless you. My name is Tusingwile Priors. I am an ophthalmologist who partners with Mbarara University of Science and Technology Eye Center uh, and the Lions International in the provision of eye services in southwestern Uganda. Uh, today we are here in Hitsis Hospital where we have been for the last four days and we have seen various conditions. In this project, uh, we partner with hospitals who invite us to strengthen their capacity, especially to deal with reversible blindness, where we operate people with cataracts, and even those other conditions that we find on site. Those who need referral, we refer them. And we also go ahead especially to sensitize people about conditions like diabetic retinopathy. For these days we've been here, we've seen about 73 people, and we've restored vision for 17 people. We've operated so far 17 cataracts, and the, the outcomes are good. They are compared with World Health Organization standards. We are, good, we are grateful for that. And we've seen two people with diabetic retinopathy, whom we've referred to the tertiary referral center of Murek, which is under Mbara University of Science and Technology Eye Center. Uh, we thank the administration of Chisiz Hospital for allowing to partner with us and to improve. Uh, the eye center still lacks uh, many things, but for now, they are able to provide um, eye services to the community and with engagements like this where we come and offer more support definitely we are destined for for greater heights we thank the lions international who put up this aid to support uh, hospitals like uh, gcz and others in the region 
and also to build the capacity so that eventually they can uh, reverse blindness. Uh, people have been trained, even when we come for community engagements like this, we offer more trainings and support to the staff. We are happy for that uh, for, from Lions International and its partners. For every blind person that is at home, there is a girl child who is losing vision, or even a boy child who is leaving school to take care of this person. If such a person is not available to take care of this blind person, then it means this blind person is going to live shorter, their life is going to be shortened because they cannot function independently. When we have surgeries and camps like this, and then we restore vision, it means the person becomes economically active. They can engage in economic activities and they can interact with other people. They can use health care like any other person without hindrances. They can take themselves to health centers, they can see medication, they can take their medication, and above all, they can prevent diseases. So we thank everyone. I thank the team that I work with. I think I thank the team that supports us. Uh, and uh, definitely when we are together for partnerships like this, then we are destined for greater heights. Thank you.